Welcome to the Confidence in You podcast, designed to help you build confidence and create positive, lasting change in your life. And here's your host, Helen Luxford. Hi there, and welcome back again to the podcast today. Thanks for being here with me. Today, I want to talk about overcoming self-doubt. I've had a few people chat with me recently about things that have happened to them and they're starting to doubt themselves and they're not quite sure how this has crept in or what's going on for them that they're now getting this self-doubt. Firstly, I just want to say that self-doubt is a common thing in humans and it is very natural and normal that sometimes we may have a little bit of self-doubt around something that we haven't experienced before or an unfamiliar situation that we might be in. Today I'm going to give you eight tips on how you can overcome self-doubt. So let's get into it, shall we? Number one, identify the source of your self-doubt. Think about it and reflect on what situations cause you to doubt yourself and what's happening or occurring in that moment and get a feeling to understand what is an underlying reason or what could be a contributing factor or an underlying reason for you to have that self-doubt in that situation. Number two, challenge your negative thoughts. You will have heard me talk about this a lot, that we have an inner critic and sometimes we are our own worst critic. So challenge your thoughts because your thoughts are just thoughts. They are not you unless you act upon them. So challenge your negative thoughts. When you have thoughts that are self-doubting, just take a moment to observe them, catch them and ask yourself, is it true or is it my perception of it? And then swap it out, replace it with something else, replace it with a different thought, a neutral or a positive thought. Number three, how do you set your goals? Are you setting realistic goals? Setting achievable goals can help you build confidence and that will help you overcome self-doubt. So instead of having one really big goal, break it down, break it down, break it down into the smallest, tiniest steps so that you can do something towards that and you take that little step and then celebrate that. Set that realistic goal and celebrate, acknowledge that you've achieved it and pat yourself on the back. Number four is practice mindfulness. Being present in the moment can help you focus on the task at hand and it can also help you not get caught up in negative thoughts about the future or the past. Being present in the moment and focusing on what you're doing at that particular moment in time is a really, really good way to help you overcome self-doubt. Number five is seek support, ask for help, chat to other people. Talking to friends, family, a coach, a therapist, anyone that you trust can help you work through your self-doubt. And it can help you gain a different perspective on the situation. So as a coach, I know a lot of people come to me and they have questions about why am I not doing this? Why can't I do that? And just me holding space and guiding and asking questions can help them see things from a different perspective. So talk to people, talk to someone that you trust. Number six is stop comparing yourself to others. And this is a really big one in today's modern world. We see the Insta life, we see what everyone else has got going on, but we only see the good things. And then we look at our life and we've got the ups and the downs. So stop comparing yourself to others because doing that can lead to feelings of inadequacy and self-doubt. So if you focus on where you're at today and where you want to be tomorrow and focus on your own progress and your own accomplishments and going back to number three where you set realistic goals and celebrate your success when you achieve them. So stop comparing yourself to others and just focus on where you're at and where you want to go. Number seven is practice self-compassion. We don't do this enough in today's world. Treat yourself with kindness and understanding just as you would the person you love the most in this world, a good friend, your grandma or someone that you really care about. Treat yourself the way you would treat them. Be kind to yourself. Understand that it's okay to make mistakes. That's life. What challenges we face today set us up for the challenges of tomorrow to make us more resilient and to learn and to be stronger next time. And just understand and recognise that everyone makes mistakes and we all have moments of self-doubt. Even the most confident of us have moments of self-doubt. 
And number eight today is take action. Get out of being stuck. Move. Do something. Because sometimes the best way to overcome self-doubt is just to do something. Take a step. Take some action. And then you'll feel that momentum. And then you'll think, oh, I can do this. And once you've taken action and you've got that momentum and you're proving to yourself that you can do it, your confidence rises, your self-doubt lessens, and you're able to then take another step and another step. So get unstuck and just take action. So they're the eight tips I had for you today. I'd really like to know which one you found the most useful. And remember that self-doubt is a very normal part of the human experience. And it is possible to overcome it and to lessen the self-doubt by just going within, trusting yourself and doing the eight steps. I'll just recap quickly. Identify the source of your self-doubt and reflect on what causes you to doubt and try to understand the underlying reasons. Number two is challenge that inner critic, challenge those negative thoughts, observe, catch and change them. Number three is set realistic goals. Break that big goal down into small little chunks and achieve just one part of the goal and celebrate that success. Number four is be present. Practice mindfulness. Be in the moment and just focus on what you're doing right now. Number five is talk to someone, seek support, get some help. Just shoot the breeze. Just speak it out loud. Talk to someone that you trust that can help you gain a different perspective on the situation. Number six, stop comparing yourself to others. Stop looking at everyone's Insta Live and Facebook Live and just focus on where you're at and where you want to go. Number seven is be kind to yourself. Practice self-compassion. Be kind to you. And number eight is do something. Take some action. That's all we have time for today. Thanks again for being here. And I really appreciate you following me and giving me a rating on iTunes so that together we can reach more people and spread the word. And remember, let your light shine. Until next time, bye for now. 